integral 1 plus e to the power x divided by 1 minus e to the power x dx. Second way to, to get this integral, AP calculus. Now, we are going to multiply top and bottom with e to the power x. And then we are going to push e to the power x into dx. Derivative of e to the power x is e to the power x dx. So this piece is that. Downstairs is the same. Now we are going to express the upstairs 1 plus e to the power x in terms of combination of 1 minus e to the power x and e to the power x. So we put 1 minus e to the power x and then e to the power x. Now we need to have e to the power x. So we put a 2 here, minus 1 of e to the power x, negative 1 e to the power, e to the power x and positive 2 e to the power, you get e to the power x and then there's a 1 here. Basically this is the same thing as that. Now notice this, this, there are two terms, one term followed by the second term. The first term, 1 minus e to the power x cancel, you get 1 over e to the power x. Second term, e to the power x cancel, you get 2 over 1 minus e to the power x. Don't forget now you are taking with respect to e, derivative respect to e to the power, no, uh, integral with respect to e to the power x. Integral sum is sum of integral. Now the integral of this is ln absolute e to the power x. Actually, you don't need to put absolute because e to the power x is always uh, a positive. Uh, this one, 2 comes out, and then you have integral d e to the power x divided by 1 minus e to the power x. The integral of this is ln absolute 1 minus e to the power x. Check for coefficient, 1 here minus 1 here. Different, therefore we need to correct by dividing by minus 1 minus bring over here you get negative 2 ln absolute 1 minus e to the power x and then here is the same plus c done thank you for watching hope video is informative helpful before you go make sure you subscribe share comment and don't forget to hit or smash the like button see you